Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I like to give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. And finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this video I would like to give you guys yet another update on um, what has been going on and I'd first like to mention to you that this is the 21st of August 2014 and this is a Thursday and Dragon Con is only uh, seven days away and counting which means that Dragon Con will be at next weekend and I myself have lots of jet chitters next to uh, lots of excitement because Dragon Con is a big big part of my life and I had mentioned er, before that I was at the Marriott Marquis last week for a change of scenery and I did two blogs there the first one was a general update like this one and uh, the second one was a blog on giving some pointers for newbies that will be coming to the convention this year. And I got one post on that from one of my friends who I met at the convention about three years ago. And his name is Billy and Six. Now, mind you, I met Mr. Billy and Six at Dragon Con 2014 in the Manila Room where they hold their writer's track. And at the writer's track uh, during that time, they held a really, really creative event um, called How to Write a Story Within One Hour. And uh, he decided to post some feedback himself. And he wrote that he, he would really like to come to the convention this year, and, but he felt that uh, Dragon Con was very, very overwhelming. And he's right. It can be overwhelming, especially uh, for somebody who is a pro like me. And as I mentioned before, um, I started uh, taking naps at the convention so that I wouldn't wear myself out. And um, I found that it helped a lot and helped me enjoy uh, going to the conventions. Um, anyway, I had also said in my uh, general uh, update that I was thinking about bringing Lunchables to the convention because I thought they would be quick and easy. Well, I have decided to change my mind on the matter. Number one, uh, those uh, Lunchables um, have no real food value in them. Number two, they have lots of at lots of additives and preservatives next to processed white flour, uh, which does not mesh well with somebody that lives on the autism spectrum. Um, on top of that, being in a place where there's lots and lots of people all the time, and uh, where I'll either uh, be overloaded and blow up at people, or I'll just completely zone out. So. I decided to go to the Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar or less and uh, what I'm going to do is pick up uh, some uh, whole wheat hamburger buns and um, some peanut butter and some honey and some uh, cans of V8 juice and some some string cheese and some packs of Crystal Light which have stevia in them because I don't like things that have aspartame or sucrose. and. Um, I, I hear that stevia is starting to take off since Splenda is supposed to be poisonous. But anyway, that is uh, beside the point. Um, I want to stick uh, on topic to Dragon Con. Um, other things I want to do is I want to get a family pack of, um, Lay I forget, what, forget who puts them out, but I think it's Lay's Sun Chips. Because the Sun Chips are one of my favorite. You can get them for six and a half dollars at Walmart. I know I want to get those, and I know I want to get some Lance Crackers. They have those to offer at Walmart as well, and uh, as well as the Dollar Tree for even less. So I pretty much have a game plan planned out as far as food. I also managed to uh, go to the store earlier this week and uh, pick up that pack of LaCroix mineral water. No, I decided not to go all the way to Costco since um, it's just too much of a hassle. What I did do, what I did do instead was um, I went to Walmart and I found out that um, it was not a 25 pack, it was just a 15 pack. They were three bonus cans and uh, unfortunately I uh, drank three uh, cans so I've only got 12 left and um, that means I need to portion out my mineral water and um, I will have to have uh, three cans of mineral water per day next to having the, a regular bottle of water and uh, maybe two or three packs of Crystal Light a day. Uh, so there's that side of it and then I'm also planning on going to Subway uh, because you can get a foot long there super cheap or I might either go to Checkers and get a cheeseburger for a dollar and a half or also go to Willie's which is one of my favorite places to pick up tacos if I don't want anything else and finally if I don't want to pay a dime as well or pay for anything 
they have the con suite and sometimes they offer hot dogs other times they have Swedish meatballs in there and I know they have free sodas and all kinds of stuff so in other news um, they finally um, uh, uploaded the information to the mobile app which makes me really really happy and I started to plan my schedule accordingly um, unfortunately I will be meeting a friend there and um, I just hope it doesn't conflict with what he wants to do but I am asking him to help me with the blogs for Dragon Con um, I do know that Friday's schedule is going to be pretty busy and um, I uh, know what I pretty much want to do and this includes doing a, a tribute to a famous actor, Robin Williams, since he was a part of my life. And um, but people will be holding up a sign where others will be um, walking around the con, uh, shouting, uh, shouting quotes that Robin Williams said in um, his famous films and TV shows. And um, finally, I also wanted to mention that I found a brand new forum for uh, people going to Dragon Con. And it uh, can be anything from general discussion to photos and previous videos of Dragon Con. So I decided to start promoting my videos on there. Um, while, while I was on there, um, I discovered one posting which was really, really interesting. And one of the postings was about the Polaris, which is a very old restaurant right on top of the Hyatt Regency and they had been talking for years about wanting to restore the Polaris and so I understand they're going to do a preview of the Polaris and um, they're only going to allow certain people in and um, if you are staying at the Hyatt Regency as a guest you can go but there's a catch one you have to pay hundred and twenty five dollars just to get in and two you can wear a costume there as long as you don't have any weapons or you don't have glitter on or cer certain types of costumes or you're not wearing um, all kinds of uh, body paints and I just thought that was really poor um, on behalf of the Hyatt Regency to do that and especially since they are holding Dragon Con year after year after year now I would understand if they want to do that with uh, someone like Patrick Stewart or any of the other major um, celebrities that they have at these conventions but to do this to a patron that is already shelling out so much money for their costumes in addition to their passes and their food and paying for their hotel I have to say one thing how rude how rude how rude and shame on you for doing that so until next time my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now and um, happy dragon conning bye